Okay, people, welcome back to another Foosh review. Tonight, I'm going to take a look at the Star Wars Elite Series General Grievous. Uh, these are available through the Disney Store. Uh, they're metal. They're kind of a 7-inch scale. I haven't picked one up before this, but I thought General Grievous, his size is kind of large. Uh, hard to tell exactly how tall he is in the movies. So I thought, uh, maybe he'll fit in. He'll be a placeholder. So... I woke up at 3 o'clock in the morning <laughs> and ordered him. I was afraid he was going to sell out like Darth Maul did. I, and I think Grievous is still on the site a week later. Now, this isn't quite as heavy as I thought it'd be, being, you know, metal parts. But I, it's got some heft to it. The, the size of the box is pretty good. And I kind of like the just the plain design. It just looks like kind of a brushed metal look. Which makes sense with the figure being metal. But... There's not really anything, you know, super special about the packaging. It shows the figure pretty well. And I'm going to crack this thing open and let's see if he actually fits. There you go, out of the package. And I uh, got mixed feelings on this thing. It looks cool. Uh, the sculpt is uh, pretty good, you know, for being metal. The details are kind of soft, I think. But it's definitely General Grievous, you know. Like I like I said before, this is probably going to be a placeholder because on top of the soft sculpt, uh, it's just kind of a, a bear to mess with, which I knew was part of the deal going in, you know. Uh, he's just tough to move. And I could tell from pictures that his ankles weren't going to be that useful. Uh, he's in this constant stepping forward pose and that throws off the center of gravity just completely there's without the stand there's pretty much no standing him up i guess you could get find that balance point but then he starts tipping the other way so I, i'm not quite sure the best way to go about that the right leg is in constant back mode. The left leg is constantly forward. So it doesn't sit flat if you try to go that way. And on top of that, the joints are a little bit floppy. I guess because of the metal, the ball joints just don't want to hold the weight up. You can get one arm up into position where the other arm kind of uh, counterbalances it. But otherwise... You can't bring both up. They're just going to drop. I think most of it is metal. But the hands, the fins on the side of the head, uh, there's some armor pieces that are rubbery. Back here, actually, that may be another metal piece. You can see the paint's kind of chipped right here. But it's mostly on the high points. I don't. There's not really a lot of chipping. And that I've noticed at least and even if there is it's you know, it's armor I'm good with a little bit of chipping and then his toe pieces are rubbery for articulation He has kind of a ball in the neck You can get some forward and back a little bit and it twists and it Side to side. I wish he could look up more because he tends to be crunched forward. The uh, shoulders are kind of weird which <laughs> knew that going in. Uh, it's a ball joint going into the body and then there's two balls coming off of it kind of in a V position and then each arm is mounted separate. So you can kind of twist that. Uh, I, I did that again. This arm came off in the it was off in the package so I'm not sure if it was supposed to be that way but it pops right back on. At the elbow I there seems to be something there. You can kind of twist it and you can kind of bend it, but it doesn't give a lot of range of movement. Uh, there's swivels at the wrists. Uh, there's a swivel at the waist. And it acts like it wants to kind of crunch, but I think it's just sitting on there where kind of loose. There's a ball joint at the hip, so you can get in and out, forward and back. And you got to watch the armor piece, this butt flap kind of gets caught right there. I think that's what might have... You can see where it's rubbing and scraping the paint off a little bit. 
Uh, there's a hinge at the knee. And that's it for the legs. That's If there was ankle joints, I would probably like this a lot better. But as is, I, you you got to have the stand. And it's just one peg. It goes in the middle of the left foot. But it helps him stand pretty good. Better than I thought it would. It's just hard to manipulate him around to try to get him into some kind of pose. With the legs being in it like it is, uh, it, most of the time the left leg has to be jutted out if you want it any closer to the body. Otherwise, he's stepping forward and it's causing a lot of stress on the peg and he's liable to fall over. Now, he does come with this cape and it's big. I, I, it's got a design on the back. I don't remember that from the movie, but uh, it's been a while since I've seen it. But it has a nice texture on the inside, kind of a quilted look to it. It's not super soft, and it's a little bit heavy, but it does kind of work out to acting as a, as a, you know, a counterbalance to him wanting to fall over. I'm not quite sure where this goes, but I've been putting it down around his collar. So you can have him like so, and the cape kind of holds him up. It, it serves a purpose, but man, does it just... It's going to take up a lot of room on the shelf. It just sticks way back. And it, it again, it makes it frustrating to try to pose. Now, he does come with four lightsabers. Uh, and they're oversized. Well, not oversized for the Elite Series scale, which is closer to 7 inch. But if you're buying these to supplement your Black Series collection, mm, there's, these are going to be big. As you can see, here's the standard Black Series lightsaber. Here's General Grievous's. It's the hilt's way bigger. The blade is pretty much longer. It works for Grievous, but it's not going to work if you want to give uh, uh, Black Series characters uh, other lightsabers. Now, this is another frustrating thing. The hands, there doesn't seem to be any kind of peg or any way to hold the lightsabers except with the natural grip. There's no articulation here. These are kind of rubbery. So you have to just kind of find that position. Like say this lightsaber has this peg sticking off of it. Not a peg, it's a, it's a detail on the lightsaber, but it makes the hilt wider at that point. So you just have to kind of get in there and try to twist it around until it finds a point where it's stuck in there. And see it's just the weight of the arm itself just pulls it out of position this is the grip that I cannot get any lightsaber to stick into it you're pretty much gonna have to balance it in there and just have them just kind of loosely holding it and hope it doesn't fall out here he is with the black series episode 3 Obi-Wan uh, this is a glass man head cast conversion and I'm, I'm okay with the size of Grievous compared to the Black Series. He's not, you can tell by the head size, yeah, he's bigger. But overall, it works for now. That's, that's what I'll say about that. It'll work as a placeholder. So at the end of the day, uh, this is okay. <laughs> and that's all the enthusiasm I can muster. This figure is more frustrating than it is fulfilling. He will go on the shelf for now, but man, if another version of this figure comes out, I don't care, Black Series, Mafex, Figure Arts, he's getting bought. And this figure, uh, I can't even think of a custom to do. I'd rip his arms off, catch the middle section on fire. I'm not saying I hate it. I'm saying that I've, I've probably cussed more at this figure in the past 15, 20 minutes than I have in with at any figure. Not ever. I've cussed at quite a few figures. But this figure's on the more frustrating side, which kind of sucks because I was looking forward to it. <laughs> and it has... I'm trying to think of some redeeming qualities. Uh, it looks like General Grievous. How's that? That's a redeeming quality right there. Otherwise, this is getting tossed in a bin at a later date as soon as another Grievous shows up. Unless you're just fiending for a Grievous on your shelf for now. Uh, 
go ahead and get it. But otherwise, I can't. I I can't really recommend this. I don't don't go spending your money unless you're just hardcore wanting one. <laughs> Every now and then, I don't care for a toy. I, it's few and far between. But this is one of those times. And maybe in a couple days, maybe I'll warm up to it uh, after he's been standing on the shelf for a little bit where I haven't had to mess with loose joints or uh, just flopping around. Arms won't stay where it goes, won't grip the lot sabers, can't step forward, can't stand straight up, cape sticking way too far back. After all those things, maybe I will forget them, but I doubt it. As soon as that pre-order for another Grievous comes up, it's so bought. This is so gone. So, if you like the review, comment, like, subscribe, <laughs> and I'll catch you on the foosh. There's, there's something to look at all over the figure. And, you know, I know it's a basic clone trooper commander, but, man, this makes me want more commanders. Uh, Gree, I can't remember the names of the rest of them, but the different colored ones, they're just awesome.